Hey guys, I'm Leo Ryan for the Guitar Maniac. Last year I made a video about power supply for a pedal board, the power plant made by Harley Benton. And this has become the most viewed video on my YouTube channel. And besides, if you make a Google search for a Harley Benton power plant, this video is the first one that pops up. Recently I've got a comment. What do you think about new Harley Benton power plant flex? Well, actually, I didn't know that this thing actually existed. And I thought, what the hell, I might as well order it and make another episode. And so, here it is. Let's take a look inside. First of all, the power plant flex is much smaller than the original device because they got rid of the transformer inside. We have here the user's manual in German and English, and here is the main external power supply that delivers 24 volt DC. And I guess inside of the device itself there are a bunch of uh, power attenuators. And as always, there are a lot of connection cables, and one of them is for reversing the polarity. The silicon cover seems to be a nice idea. We have six 9 volt DC outputs with 100 mA each. The outputs 7 and 8 are switchable. You can choose between 9 and 12 volt DC with 300 mA each. And the output 9 is stepless adjustable. You can choose any voltage you like between 9 and 24 DC with 300 mA. And we have an LED display that shows the voltage of the output 9. However, I have a couple of concerns. I can accidentally turn the knob all the way up that increases the voltage and I can easily blow my favorite device. And just for fun I connected the output 9 with my multimeter and I must admit that the voltage is represented pretty accurately with internal LCD display. The main problem that I had with original Pavlin is that it was a huge device, pretty heavy, but technically speaking it's nothing more than a daisy chain in a box. And actually you can buy the same daisy chain cable and some average 9 volt power supply and you get the same results for a half price of the power plant. But actually if you want to get good results you should avoid the daisy chains because this way you don't get into a ground loops. And if you don't know what ground loops are you'd better check the original power plant video that I made a couple of months ago. It's either in the link in the description below or should pop up somewhere here. And so did the power plant flex uh, fix all the problems that original power plant uh, had? Let's find out. The central pins of all the outputs are negative, so I tested those with my multimeter. And as you can see, they have no resistance at all. That means that all the outputs share the same ground, even the output 9. And I have my problems with it, because on the home page of Toman it clearly states that output 9 is isolated. And it doesn't seem to be the case. Besides, I checked out the user's manual. There is no information about the isolated output 9 as well. And just for fun I tested the positive rings as well. As you can see, all the 9 volt outputs do have some resistance and I think this is because of short circuit protection. But still, I think that they use the common positive bus. Besides, if you switch the output 7 and 8 in 9 volt position, they do use the same bus as well. But if you switch them in 12 volt position, they don't have common bus. The same thing applies to the output uh, 9. It doesn't have common positive bus with other outputs. And so I might just take it apart as well to look inside. And so, as you can see, all the negative pins share the same ground bus. And as I supposed, all the 9 volt outputs share the same positive bus, except that all the outputs have their own short circuit protection. And so this might be advanced, but still a daisy chain. So I might just put it together and test it, how it works. For the noise test I'll use the two nodes torpedo cap that requires 12 volt DC and AMT R1 that can work with both 9 and 12 volt DC. First of all I connect those with daisy chain. And so, as you can hear, we get a lot of noise. Let's connect these units to a power plant flex. First I connect the torpedo cap to a 12 volt output and AMT to a 9 volt output. As you can hear we get the same kind of noise as well. And what happens if you connect both of those devices to the outputs 7 and 8?
Well, you get much more noise. And it doesn't really matter if you choose between 9 or 12 volt for the AMT pedal, the amount of noise is still the same. I guess these two outputs have some kind of conflict with each other. And what happens if I connect my torpedo cap to a so-called isolated output number 9? 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 Number Back to the show. We get here more high frequency noise than it was with daisy chain. In conclusion, what do you think about new power plant flex? Surely they made a couple of adjustments, they made it smaller, they added short circuit protection on each output, they made stepless voltage adjustment with LED meter, but they didn't get rid of the main problem of the original device. And that's why this is the same pussy power as the original one, only with LED display. And so that's all for today. Have a nice day and keep on rocking.